Well, thanks for watching this episode of Revelations. We're hoping by now you've had a few. God is still working, and there's a part for you to be playing in the body of Christ. We're visiting Transformations Treatment Center here in Delray Beach, Florida. With me is Dr. Maureen Esposito. Let's talk about family involvement in recovery. I know that's a, a critical element, mm -hmm. and some folks have burned some bridges, but when possible, the family is really an active part of recovery. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the family program is very important to transformations. Many times, uh, family members um, unwittingly contribute to the stress of clients and maybe have even set an example of drinking and drugging you know, throughout the years. So we consider it a family problem. Um, we engage the family right from the very beginning to be involved with the patient when they come to transformations. So of course, you know, we uh, recommend that families attend Al-Anon and seek some help on their own. Many of our clients do come from out of state. But uh, monthly we have a, a very large family program where we um, talk about addiction, we talk about the shame of addiction, and we talk about uh, enabling. Many families will love their children to death or love their spouse to death and they inadvertently um, will enable them to continue with the addiction. So we give them a little bit of education and training as well. Everyone goes on the website, they'll type in you know, uh, drug addiction, alcoholism, um, heroin, and so forth. And um, many of our clients come from the web. We have a, a very full and rich website that explains in detail all the different programs that we have and all the populations that we treat and all the specialty ailments that people have. Um, including pornography addiction and gambling, you know, other uh, process type addictions. So they usually uh, look at the website, they hone in on something that really hits them, and then they call. So we have people answering the phones 24-7. A Christian population that is really looking for a Christian program, not just a Christian track, a little sprinkling of Christianity here and there, but Christian therapists that live the Christ-like way yeah. and are able to uh, support that within the clientele and also um, encourage that. Um, that's very comforting to those parents and spouses that are looking for uh, a program that will deal with, yeah. you know, Christianity, good and evil, temptations and so forth. It's all based in love, it's based in mental health, it's based in truth and honesty. Yeah. And that is probably the most important thing that our clients will learn from us is A, how to tell the truth to others, but more importantly, how to tell the truth to yourself. Yeah. Jesus said, I'm the way, the truth, mm -hmm. and the life. You know, and mm -hmm. uh, also in the scriptures it says, God is not like man, he can't lie. So, mm -hmm. you know, it is really coming to the truth, and that's mm -hmm. always the first step, right? Exactly. Acknowledging the truth, hey, I got a problem, mm -hmm. you know, the light came on, mm -hmm. and now you got to deal with it. Mm -hmm. Stay tuned, we're going to talk about ways that you can get involved with Transformations Treatment Center. Keep watching. Make sure to spread the word that we're here. Um, pray for us. Uh, come in and see us. We'll show you what we offer so that you can share it with others because I don't think there's anyone that we could, any one of us could say honestly, uh, could say that we don't know someone that probably needs help. The staff at Transformations is fantastic. Um, from the clinical director down to the techs, Everybody is willing to listen and share their experience, strength, and hope. Share their love and their experiences with their values and their faith now that has been restored in them. As soon as they get in here, um, I want to meet them. I don't want to lose any time. I want them to know that um, they're among friends, among family, among people that understand them. Uh, what Transformations is about is getting the client to understand and educating them. Uh, the drugs are just a symptom. There's the deeper issues, and this was what this is the heart of what recovery is about. You know, it's exciting to see somebody start from the beginning of recovery and continue on from here and what we've taught them. I've had many opportunities to share the gospel with with clients and, and fellow staff while I've been a member of Transformations. I consider myself a Transformations evangelist. Um, I'm, I tell myself and tell others every day, just gotta have a little faith. It'll work out. And the journey varies from person to person. Uh, some people come in and they're so desperate that they'll cling to anything. They are so desperate for spirituality and a connection with God that I don't have to do anything. Uh, other people have a set of experiences that might make them um, distrust religion, distrust structure, distrust anything in authority. 
So when we start with where they're at and we start hashing out how pain caused us to be where we are, spirituality naturally falls into that. It's great seeing an individual that has no faith at all walking in and through like Celebrate Recoveries and the Christian therapists and different groups really start to believe and see that change in such little time. Well, again, I want to thank our viewers for watching another episode of Revelations. And Dr. Esposito, thank you so much for letting our team hang out with you guys for a couple days. What an amazing staff God gave you. Thank you very much. I'm very blessed to have them. You know, they're very educated. They have lots of credentials and lots of experience. But most importantly, they have a good heart. They love people. They know people. And they're able to engage in helping people. The work that we do is very, very important, and I think it will um, add to the health of society mm -hmm. and uh, certainly the families that we're sending our clients back to. Yeah. At the end of the day, the bottom line, when, he's, when they ask Jesus, mm -hmm. what's the greatest commandment? He says, love God and love people. Mm -hmm. God is in the people business. Exactly. He is the man you facture. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, <laughs> so we're Very in the people good. business. God's exactly. in the people business that puts us in the people business, right? Mm -hmm. exactly. I'd like an opportunity to pray with you, mm -hmm. with our viewers watching, and see if God can work through the church, mm -hmm. however big that is, all the mm -hmm. believers that claim the name of Jesus Christ, how they can be an active support to the work you're doing here on the front lines. Mm -hmm. Let's pray. Father in heaven, Lord Jesus, Holy Spirit, we thank you for being God, sovereign over the affairs of man. And I pray for that person that may be watching this episode that is struggling with an addiction, maybe even in secret, you know all about it. I pray that you give them the strength and the courage to reach out for help, whether it's transformations treatment or somebody nearby. And Lord, also for those family members right now who are uh, at their wit's end, not knowing what to do about their loved one. I pray, Lord, that you would give them the courage to make that phone call, to get some help, some advice, some encouragement with people who know all about it. And I pray for Transformations Treatment Center, also for Mark Gearhart, and all the staff, and all the even volunteers that help come alongside and make these projects and programs happen, make it a reality to help set the captives free. I pray, Father, in the name of Jesus, that you would use them and bless them as they continue to be on the front lines helping people overcome addictions and live the life that you've came to give. Uh, you said you've come to give life and life abundantly, Lord Jesus, and we want that for these clients and uh, also for the family members. So we pray a special blessing over Transformations Treatment Center, and we ask you for this in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Hey, thanks again for watching. I want to encourage you one last time before we go. Take a look at the website. It's transformationstreatment.com. And until our next episode of Revelations, may you and your families be blessed.